Well, it's Tuesday. I got a big empty box. I'm going to put at least 25 or 30 in it at the first stop. I got to take those back and pick up eight to ten more from another guy. This is that Tuesday gig I was telling you about last week when I was a week early. We'll see how it turns out. I'll get back to you. Well, I got them. I can tell you it's going to be a nice little day at Rancho Max today. He had his own box, and I don't see 30 in there. But there's a few in there. The second guy had exactly what he said, 10 knives. And he itemized them on a sheet of paper. One Japanese cleaver, carvers, eight and 10 inch, Chef's knife, two inch, eight inch, six inch, a 10 inch bread, a Santuco, a whole list of itemized, most of them are in sleeves. Looks like they came from uh, Ambrose Cutlery Company in New York once before. Same box. I never heard of Ambrose, but I'll check it out. Okay, let's get them out of there and see what we got. Well, here are the 10. All foresters. And they are, four are like razors. I don't know why anybody would ever want to sharpen them. They're so sharp, they're scary right now. I'll get back to you. Well, we got 18 knives. One cleaver, two scissors, three dowel strongs, four Ostos, three, two Tramatinas, two, one Mundial, one Victoria Knox, three Cuisinart, two Cuisinarts and a KitchenAid. And I think that's a Cafalon. These are China. So it went from 30 to 19. That's okay. 29 for the day. That works okay for me. We're getting ready to open. We got three vendor scissors, one vendor chef knife, vendor scissor over there. We got four scissors and a nipper. And another vendor's got two wood stalls and a pickle cutting knife. This is my first encounter with a pickle cutting knife. Very interesting. We got like five vendors haven't showed up yet. Everybody else is getting in place.
We're having a little rain event. Nothing major. But just enough to slow things down a little bit. Well, it's uh, 10 o'clock. We've been set up an hour. We did 17 knives before 10. And now, we haven't done one in 30 minutes. Well, actually, 9, 9.40, we did 17 before 9.40. Seafood guy is kind of slow. Vegetable people are knocking it out. And the market itself is pretty busy. But it's hot be hot today. There's a wave riding vehicles. WRV. See it right there? Wave riding vehicles. About two weeks ago, this guy dropped off a little pocket knife he wanted me to sharpen. I can't remember what kind it was right this minute. Today he dropped this off. He just bought this from somebody online. He says it's a browning. He thinks it's a browning. He wants me to clean it up and sharpen it. It's got new Bark River. He said it's been re re redone by Bark River. These are brand new Bark River handles and they reconditioned it or did something to it. That's what he said. It's a big thing though. See how big it is? Brand new Bark River case. Beautiful case. Homework. And I just got a text from the best knife customer there is. You know the guy drops his knives off every two or three weeks. A month. He said, they're in your box. I said, <laughs> okay. We'll see what they are later. When we get home. Oh, there they are. You've seen them before. Dow Strong sh Black Shadow Series Steak Knives. Four of them. Or five. A K-Bar Pocket Knife. A Sog. A Boner. And a Leather one. Okay. The wart from hell. Just got another treatment. 48 hours. 